Y'all check out this 99 hardtop convertible, 67,000 mile Dynan S package M3. Yes, it's a legitimate Dynan. You wouldn't believe how much I picked it up for. Unfortunately, it's an automatic. It's got these cool aftermarket gauges, but it's pretty clean for the year. A little tear here and there. Looks like this has been redone, different color, two-tone, I guess. Got the chrome contours. Not my style, but hey, it is what it is. Check it out. Dining ass pack. That's the serial number. Dining cold air intake. Dining throttle body. Dining strut bar. And dining. Let me enhance. Stage three engine performance and transmission performance. So this is my actually first time seeing a Dynan S. I'm normally used to seeing Dynan S1, 2, 3, blah, blah, blah. So this is basically the entry, entry level. It's just the engine modifications. Everything you see here, uh, the S1 would be the same thing, but plus the suspension. So the Dynan shocks and springs, struts, etc., stuff like that. Um, stage two would be all of that stuff, plus the bigger math and a strict intake manifold and a uh, bigger or higher pressure fuel pressure regulator and then stage three would be the Dynan supercharger kit so yeah this car um it's a three owner car I believe from i need to check the carfax but basically uh the person that owned it very older man he uh passed away fortunately like uh, last week and uh their car has actually been sitting for like five years and the title was transferred to the son and the son pretty much uh tried to fix it up and he ended up replacing the fuel pump, fuel filter. He went and replaced thermostat water pump. That radiator is brand new. Um, he put a lot of work into it. And he just could not figure out what was wrong with it. And he said when he drove it, man, yeah, you could definitely, quote, feels like it's a head gasket. It needs a head gasket. And I was kind of surprised. 67,000 miles needs a head gasket. And if it was, you know, old man driven, it's not like some, you know, youngsters drifting a freaking hardtop M3 automatic. Um, I couldn't imagine it being a bad head gasket. But anyways, I took his word for it. I assumed that I was just going to end up taking the whole motor out, five speed swapping it, and just, you know, asking $4 billion for this on Bring a Trailer or Marketplace, you know. You know how the usual goes with this car market. But turns out, <laughs> when I replaced the battery, the car started up hesitantly, and it was misfire, <clears throat> you know, running like shit. And then I'm like, all right, well, it's kind of, I don't know how I could smell this, but it just normal. it smelled like it was really bad gas. Like, yeah, it was poor combustion, but it smelled like it was shitty gas. I literally emptied all the gas out, put a full tank in, and this car started right up. And I was like, oh my God. So I, <laughs> don't tell me that this is all that I needed, just bad gas. Because, you know, I got this for 4000 Actually, no, I can't tell you what. I didn't pay 4000 for it. Because if I tell you I paid 4000 for it, you're not going to give me my $4 billion asking price, okay? So yeah, yeah, no, I, I paid $13,000 for this car, not running and driving. <clears throat> So anyways, yeah, I put a, a new gas in it, drove the car, car drives fine. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe, you know, it's still got a head gasket issue. So I go take out the goddamn spark plugs. I'm doing a compression test and it's matching compression in all the cylinders. And I was like, okay, maybe it's like a very minute freaking, uh, and it overheats. I literally let the car sit here idling, not driving with the airflow, did not overheat, not even after 35 minutes. I get a block tester to see if there's any exhaust gas coming in here. I'm literally sit, let's that sit there. I'm squeezing it, whoosh, 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 taking all the air out of the fucking cooling system. And it did not change color whatsoever. It stayed blue, not turned to yellow green. So that was good. I checked the codes and it literally had um, a few codes like for uh, mass airflow, lambda oxygen sensor, pre-cab, blah, 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 something. Okay, worst case, it just has a little slight misfire because of, you know, bad O2 sensor. But come on, 60,000 miles, there's no way. Turns out <laughs> I cleared all the codes. First thing to come was the math. I replaced the map sensor and the car drives fine. Other than that, there's nothing wrong with this car. I have the steering wheel off because I'm fixing the clock spring, replacing it to get rid of the airbag light. And that's pretty much it. The car, I need to take out the radio, get the serial number so I can get the code from the dealership to unlock the radio when the battery dies out. It, you know, it's like a part of an anti-theft system. People steal radios back in the day. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Dynan S package, hardtop convertible automatic m3 for four th i mean uh sixteen thousand dollars what a steal guys but anyways that was this car picked up a couple days ago 
everything came from China now. This is why I love China, bro. I love these parts. I got full, clear. I got the Euro Glass uh, Angel Eyes for the Techno M3. The clear uh, side markers, clear fog lights. Got these nice hot boy wheels. Got a, a full transmission differential engine oil filter kit. Just want to have a nice baseline at 300,000 miles. So that's for that. Let me show you something with my exhaust setup, all right? Let me show you something. So as you can see right here, right? That's my muffler. And it's going to be quite straightforward install. No twisting, bending, turning, cutting, mending. I wouldn't want to pay more than $60 max for some dude to cut and make a weld for this exhaust. However, here's the thing, guys. All right? Think of it like this. If I go put the wheels on first and I pull up to the exhaust shop, they're going to think, ooh, this guy's got money. They don't realize it's a 300,000-mile fucking BMW, okay? They're going to just assume because I have nice wheels. Oh, yeah. It's BMW. We're going to need a $250. <laughs> I don't like that. All right? It's worth what it's worth. It's not changing on price based on what i'm driving how i look right they look at these slippers and they're gonna think man this guy's a fucking bozo we could easily pull a fast one on him so i'm gonna go do the psychological smart thing right i'm thinking 100 steps ahead so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come with my dirty ass car and my dirty ass stock rims put on the muffler right if he tells me 80 dollars what am i gonna do go drive with gas nowadays, fucking five miles down the road, pay $20 worth of gas just to get it for 60 bucks. I'm going to end up paying $80. But I really think this would be a $60 job. So we're going to go put the exhaust on. And then we're going to go put the wheels on. And then we're going to do the whole oil change and blah, 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 filter transmission differential kit. And then we're going to install the Euro Depot glass Bosch fucking headlights. When wire up the, you know, the angel eyes, put the side markers get rid of the uh, orange, make it clear. Everything's going to be clear and chrome. I got grills. Instead of black grills, we're going to have chrome grills. It's going to be nice. After that, the only thing I'm waiting for is just be the fucking wing. And pretty much that's it. And I need to get Alcantara M Rain either cross, cross fucking interior or M Rain interior. Still haven't decided yet. But yeah, I'm pretty much 90% done with this fucking car. I'm going to keep it for a long time. And then like I said, in five years probably 10 million dollars this right here would be about a million dollars but yeah stay tuned let's see how much hi hi i am wondering if you get a quote on how much to install this muffler okay give me some information here so sure. we can make some notes on what Now that inlet on that muffler's off to the side. That inlet's in the end, so it's in the middle. I'll okay. have to rework the pipe. Okay. A couple hundred bucks. A couple hundred bucks? Yeah. All right. Um, is that like 200, 300, 200 bucks? Well, off? Roughly. I mean, like I said, I got to build the hanger. I got to make sure it'll I get it done. I have to get that off of there before I know how that's going to fit. Okay, yeah, what time would you be available? Like, I don't know if you drop it off any morning, you're ready. Morning? All right, man, thank you so much. Thanks, appreciate you. No problem, man. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> Alright, so as y'all heard, $200, um, you know, that dude, he's local to me in Wiley, and I've called his shop maybe like four times in the last five years, you know, when I want some minor exhaust work done on my car, like I'm impatient, I want to see what this, you know, exhaust tips or, oh, close a little exhaust hole, and I know he's expensive in the terms of like, you know, oh, I've been welding for 50 years, blah, 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 blah. you know, he's one of those guys. It's hard to explain what kind of person, but you just from just hearing on the phone call, his attitude and his demeanor, how he tries to overcomplicate everything in order to get more money out of it. It's like you can tell when someone's bullshitting you, but at the same time, you don't you dare question him because he's the exhaust professional. He 
and you're coming to him for help. You don't know how to weld. You don't have an exhaust shop. He does, so you can't question that person's judgment. But I know damn well, from the places that I've gotten work done, this is a fucking 30 minute job max, okay? He gets down on his legs, looks underneath, and I literally did the exact same thing in the video, and I explained to you, it's a straight foot. But what does he say? Oh yeah, we're gonna have to bend the manifold, we're gonna hang around, we're gonna need a fucking lower, I'm gonna have to, you know, drop it, baby, 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 make it hang and put it Overcomplicating it to get to the price point of $200. And yeah, that's fine. He says his work is worth $200. It's not gonna be, you know, my work that he's gonna be doing it. So I'm gonna go to Garland, very well-known exhaust shops that just do it for a realistic price. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to screw everyone over, but I know what something's worth. Basically, that's a 30 minute job, $200 an hour. He basically think his time's worth $400 an hour, right? $400 an hour, you got me fucked up. I'm not paying $400 an hour. Right? I don't care who you are, what you've done, how many years of experience, you can kiss my ass. This is the most entry level fucking beginner exhaust welding. I'm not making him some crazy fucking cross metric fucking scavenging port, you know, um, custom dime aluminum titanium weld, bro. This is a fucking slip on tack weld type shit muffler. And you know, he could have made it easy fucking 60, 80 dollars. He charged a hundred dollars. I said, fuck it, whatever, I don't care. It's not gonna make a big difference to me. All right, the car looks real nice, but like, I don't know. The rear's kind of like a little too wide. And I don't want to, like, you know, roll fenders, but. I mean, it's not that much, but I feel like if I just get. Because this is 10 in the rear. If I just put another 8.5, and you can already see it's me tearing up, so. I don't know, man. Should I fucking. Uh, go return and buy I mean I can't return it fuck dude what a waste of money <sighs> fuck 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 10 I mean it looks cool but like I think 8.5 would be cleaner more simplistic man they said I mean I saw photos but then again I'm sure they probably have their crazy suspension system set up and rolled fenders and damn. All right, now fast forward two weeks later, you see the car looks much different. I ended up going with these chrome contours that I stole off the Dynan M3. And it's funny because you see those rims right there? I actually had eight and a half in the front, 10 in the rear. And I thought, oh, 10 won't fit. Let me put eight and a half. Eight and a half had the same issue, not as bad. You can see right here how much it was digging in to the tire. I want to keep the OEM tire. So right here, this is a 245, 40, 17. You can see this is like about, what, five millimeters of dig. So maybe a five millimeter if I shave. I'm pretty sure if I just shave off five millimeters, that's what I'm probably going to do. I mean, I like the chrome contours. They really look really nice. I think this is probably the only color chrome contours would look nice on. But um, you can see the crystal clear side markers. Fog lights, glass, eBay depot with angel eye headlights. I made everything 6,500. So I'll go ahead and show you the 6,500 Kelvin. It's nice and color white. Turn the ignition. So these are actually switchbacks. 
the uh, side markers, they shine, you know, white. But when you hit the blinkers on, all right, I got to actually turn the ignition all the way. Oh, my God. There we go. You can see it's got hyper flash. I haven't switched out the relay that would stop it. But now you can see it goes back to white. So that's, oh, shit, I almost dropped my phone. That's pretty nifty right there. Go ahead and do that, turn it off. Still need to do the interior. About like, shit, 80% done with the car. But that's basically the progress. So my plans for these rims right here, since I really want to run them, they look really nice. All right, I'm thinking, let me prop this up so you can see just how big the like hub is i think i could shave off all the way right down right where before tape because if i shave it all the way and i cut off the part where the tapers from a conical nut the wheel won't hold itself so i'm thinking like because i think maybe like five millimeters off would be just enough but i want to shave all the way up until that that ridge right there let me enhance i think that would work but that means I'd probably have to spend like what 200 bucks and i'd hate to do that and it ends up not working and i'm thinking about okay in 10 years five years when i'm trying to ask a million dollars for this car would it sell more with the stock wheels just powder coated chrome i'm thinking about redoing the chrome so basically my two options spend 400 bucks re-chrome and refinish these wheels or spend maybe 200 bucks or 150 depending on where i'd go shave off couple millimeters because this is basically this this is the wheel that was on there okay this is how much it was shaving off let me focus so i don't think it's that much at the same time i don't want to roll fenders but then if it's such a small amount like no one would know because look how this is 1841 those are 1813 so you can see this thing has literally when, when i load the suspension it's got like i would say about 10 millimeters of clearance if you want perfect fitment. Man, you put a 10 millimeter spacer on this, you'll have like super flush fitment when you lower it and everything. For the front, I think 15, but I think since those rims have a different offset, it might actually fit perfectly. So, I gotta call up a shop and see if they could shave some off. But yeah, that's pretty much the status so far. And I'll uh, update you when I reprint the whole car, respray it, and have the uh, lightweight wing on it. And I'll maybe put like a lightweight um front lip but yeah that's that let me zoom out man that's clean